guys, it's Stephen Geekface, and I'm back again with another review for yourself here today, which is a film called Little, starring Issa Rae, Michelle Martin, and Regina Hall, who plays a mean old boss who finds herself with the power of magic, herself as a 13-year-old girl, and mishaps and weird stuff begin to happen in her everyday life. So, it's another film produced by Will Packer. He's done some other films, which was uh, What Do Men Want, which I saw recently this year. And as you can tell, this is a spin-off remake of the whole big uh, film from the 80s, which starred Tom Hanks. So, trailer looked okay. Had some funny moments from what I saw. So, that's the film. Um, performances for everyone was great. It was great to see Issa Rae in a film. I'm a big fan of her from the, from the program Insecure. So it was really great to see her perform and really shine in this film. So, she did a good performance in this. Regina Hall and Michelle Mine did a really good job as well, playing the same character in each other's bodies. Some bits felt a bit weird with Marshall Mine saying particular lines as a child especially when she's flirting with grown men. But it was a great performance from all of them there. Some comedy humour worked throughout the film. Some some ha-ha moments. That's it really. I'm not going to really go into too much uh, for them. That was the only good in the film. The story, you've seen it all before. It's all the cliches. You know, it, it, it's just one of those movies. I'm not going to... I can't even get too angry about this film. I knew what I was getting myself into when I saw the trailer and I've seen this film before. We've, we've got it ready, we've had it with Shazam, which is better and obviously films like the classic film like Big. So it's just one of those, it's one of those films. Go and see it. If you want to go and see it, I can't, I don't even know who this is for. It's just one of those films. You, 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 you. I will say though, as a bad note, it, the film did feel flat and I really wish that they, you know, they just gave it more production. It just looked really fat, looked like something made for TV. And the same problem I had with when it came to uh, what the men want was I wish they really just died into something new. As obviously this is a, re a remake of a film that everyone knows and we're now doing it in the current age to bring something new to the table, which they don't do. So yeah, it's a forgettable film. I mean, if you want to go and watch it, go and watch it. but. I can't recommend it to too many people. This film gets a 3.5 out of 10. And yeah. <laughs> what else is to say about the film? Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> I've got nothing much to say. So, are you gonna watch this film? Is it a film you're looking forward to? Or do you like these cast? Are you happy to see them on the big screen? Let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to any other comedies out here that potentially are going to be good? As I said, let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, stay blessed, stay geeked. Bye-bye.